hi guys welcome back to my channel and I am so excited to show you guys how I created this look because it took forever and guys I I've been practicing this look for a good week or so now and originally I was going with a cut crease but with hooded eyes it's just so difficult for me I'm still learning that but just wanted to do this rounded halo look and I thought it was just really cute and I just wanted to show you guys you guys all voted on my Twitter and you guys wanted to see this look the most so there it is and I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching okay so I already um did my brows off camera and I just decided to just focus on the eye look this makeup look so I'm not really gonna show my full face too much but I am using my LA Pro Pure Beige Concealer and using that as a primer for my lids and I'm setting that all in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder second I'm going in with the color spice and I'm creating this faint line of where I want my crease to basically start because I do have hidden um, and hit like hidden lids you know <laughs> so it's kind of difficult to make these cut creases and make these sort of rounded cut crease looks because my crease is not where you know the look would be prominent or that you would be able to see it so much so I am creating a crease and right now I'm just taking spice and kind of blending it out with a Morphe fluffy brush and I'm also going in with a tart color I believe it's in the color hot chocolate and I'm going in just to create that line and make it more defined just so you could see it a little more and that it is prominent um, round cut crease you know and I'm going in and I'm blending it out now this look I will keep blending every single part out every single line that I make I go back and blend it till my hands fall off like I had to cut and edit out so much of me blending because I literally blended for like days it felt like <laughs> so now I'm actually going in with the color sienna and I'm blending that out then I go back in with uh, spice from morphe and I'm blending that out so I'm just taking the two colors with each brush and I'm just blending it all out going in with the color going taking another color and just making sure I blend that all out and now I'm going back in with hot chocolate just to create like a more defi defined eye and defined rounded crease and now I'm going in with my concealer just to kind of set that all in and create space so that when I put my glitter it's just an empty canvas again and I'm setting that all in with a light fleshy tone shadow honestly I can't figure out the name and I can't find it anywhere so it's just a fleshy tone uh, eyeshadow just to set that all in now I'm going back in with hot chocolate just to define that lid space again and I'm bringing hot chocolate to the outer corners of my eyes and the inner corners just to kind of create that halo effect that rounded halo um, look <laughs> as you guys understand by the title of the video I am doing a halo look so yes I am taking hot chocolate and I'm putting that in the inner corners and outer corner of my eye just to tie that um, that line that we made that crease just to tie it all in into the color and now I'm using this Stila mixing medium I believe it's it came in with sort of that glitter pack and I'm just using it to apply this glitter loose glitter that I got from eye candy and it's in the color taffy it's this beautiful rose gold color and it is the it is the it's the look so yes I'm putting that in the center of my eyes just packing that all in honestly this isn't the best mixing medium but it's what I had but any mixing medium that you have that you feel that doesn't flake or have fallout then I would recommend using I would not really recommend using this one but it's like I said it's what I had available so I'm just packing in all that glitter into my lids making sure that it's just not falling out and going crazy everywhere and kind of blending it a little bit as much as I can so not everything is just like super harsh but when I put my liner and everything the whole look comes together and it does it doesn't look too bad so right now I'm lining my eyelids and I'm not creating a wing look because I'm trying to keep it as round as possible or my eyes as round as possible even though my eyes aren't round in its natural shape so I'm just trying to keep that rounded look as much as possible 
and right now I'm lining my eyelids with Tarte Clay Pot and I'm just gonna line it really thinly because I don't want to cover up the look I don't want to you know hide all our beautiful work so I'm just lining it very thinly creating a small small wing well not really a wing just a small line guys this look I've been practicing and I still haven't perfected it but I just really wanted to show you guys you know I am learning so right now I am going back in with spice under my eye and I'm just kind of tying the whole look in and I'm taking my Marc Jacobs eyeliner and I'm just lining my waterline and I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out in a bit with hot chocolate again also tying in the look just making sure it's all cohesive and just one look and now I'm going in with my Grand Glamour Lashes by Vegas Nay. These lashes are so dramatic. They're so crazy. <laughs> so guys, I already added found or put foundation on my face. I already concealed with my Pure Beige LA Pro Concealer. And I did set it, that all in. Now I'm going in with a Sephora powder, foundation powder, just to contour my face up. I know I'm not using makeup forever, but I am using a Sephora powder and I'm just warming up or contouring my face creating some shadows i contoured my nose my cheekbones i didn't want to show it all on camera because you guys know how i already do my face you guys seen it in my past videos and if you haven't i will send a link above or wherever it shall be somewhere in this video of a video that i've <laughs> done my full face i do my full face in almost every video but i just decided not to do it for this one because i just wanted the focus to be the eye look and now I'm just using a blush, just to just a light, um, a very light, rosy blush. And now I'm going in with my NARS Albatross Highlighter, 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 Highlighter. And I'm just highlighting my cheekbones, my nose, the huge. You guys know, like that's why I feel like it's so repetitive. Let me guys, let me know if you guys want to see like more face stuff but i just feel like it gets repetitive because you guys i don't really change up my face routine i kind of keep it the same and if i am adding new products i will definitely like stop and show you guys but if it's not any new products then i don't feel like i i don't know just let me know <laughs> so i'm adding fix plus just set that all in and i did use the color whirl by mac and all over my lips and i'm using my wig in the style Ina today because I just thought a black wig you know we're getting ready for fall this is gonna be for a fall look so I kind of like my darker hair not my pastel hairs and not my crazy light colored hairs but so I figured I'd go with Ina today she's in the color 1B right now and I'm just trying to tie this adjustable strap because it doesn't come with combs so it's kind of annoying because it kind of slips and normally I am always wearing a middle part but with Ina, it's just so like the parting space is a very thick and it just doesn't move as well. So I don't like it as the middle part because it's a very bulky. So I am wearing it as as a side part and I'm just styling it, trying to grab this freaking thing. <laughs> but yes. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. I hope you guys check out my next video. Guys, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you guys enjoy this look. And thanks for watching. Bye.